A woman killed and her boyfriend seriously hurt after an attack inside her own apartment. Now the man accused of the crime is getting ready to face a judge. Good evening, I'm Max McGee. And I'm Abajoy Burnett. Tomorrow, the man charged with this brutal attack in Columbia one week ago is expected in court. Kelsey Kushner is live with more on this investigation. Kelsey. Well, Max, police say 22-year-old Wilson Oriana Lemus is set to go before that judge tomorrow. He's charged with breaking into that apartment, uh, that couple's apartment, brutally attacking them, stealing a cell phone and jewelry, and then taking off. And neighbors say they're in shock. It was a call for a wellness check from family members that led Howard County Police to this apartment complex in Columbia to find a gruesome discovery, a couple attacked in their own home. Inside the apartment on the 8800 block of Spiral Court, police say they found 36-year-old Amanda Nicole Harris dead and 42-year-old William James Webb significantly injured. Neighbors were left stunned. Kind of shocked, you know, Columbia. You don't hear that too much in Colombia. Saturday, detectives arrested and charged 22 year old Wilson Oriana Lemus in connection to the crime. Police say he entered their apartment through an unsecured window and assaulted both Harris and Webb with a baseball bat before stealing Harris's jewelry and cell phone. Police say he was a resident of the same complex but didn't know the couple, and he's held without bond with charges of first degree murder, attempted murder, and assault. Family members of Harris shared pictures of her and Webb online. Called Calling her a loving daughter, friend, sister, and stepmom, and they're planning a celebration of her life at this funeral home on Monday. A little disturbed and a little upset about it because it's a nice community. Everyone knows everybody around here. So to have something like that happen was very scary for me. Now, one week later, Webb is still listed as critical condition at shock trauma. Now, again, Oreyama Lemus is set to go before the judge tomorrow. As of right now, court documents show that he does not have a lawyer assigned to him. We did also find that he was arrested twice before for burglary. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Kushner for WJZ.